Now, having said that and all the good stuff. That was the easy stuff. Yes, that was it. Let me get into, uh, let me get into a, a controversial decision by the governor. The governor wants to pull out of this program, which is backed by the Obama administration. And maybe you can even set this, this program up for us a little bit, Senator Moore, about secure communities. What it is that exactly the governor's feeling is, is that it's something that isn't really going to keep our communities secure. Others disagree. Well, my understanding of the program is that if an individual is arrested, that there is the federal database that you will then be able to run the fingerprints through, which will confirm the, um, for the first one of many things, but one being the immigration status. So these are sent to ICE? Yes. And Correct. immediately, you know, your, your fingerprint goes through. You, you're not being, the governor's fear seems to be that people would be rounded up in some way. Well, and, the, and, you know, again, my understanding of it is that it's only for individuals who are violating or have violated the law, but for more of the violent offenses. So there's not going to be big immigration sweeps. It's not going to be you see someone walking down the street for, or if they get a parking ticket and you're going to be taking fingerprints. It's only for someone who right now is getting arrested for a violation. So they're yeah, already I, being booked. The fingerprints they're, they're are, booked, already, the are fingerprints probably already being sent to the FBI and other places. And Senator Chandler, is, as Senator Moore said, looking for people who, in, in their own homeland, were yeah. murderers, were rapists, were, were running drugs, and now we're doing, or it could if do I'm that not here. Mistaken, have committed an offense somewhere else in the United right. States. Right, correct. Yeah. That's a real problem we have here because we're really not linked into any other databases other than the state databases for uh, identification purposes, and that's a problem. Mayor Joe O'Brien coming out in, in favor of the governor uh, and his position on this. Senator Chandler, the way that, that he set this up was that maybe this is more of an urban suburban thing. That when you talk to uh, you know the, the city police chiefs, there is a problem between the immigrant community, or there is a distrust, uh, just a natural distrust between the immigrant community, those who are here legally, and the police department. And so, in order for uh, you know Worcester police, as an example, or Lawrence or, or Springfield police to be able to do their job, it would be better for us not to have the secure communities because there is this natural distrust and it would actually work against what some of the city police departments are trying to do. Well, that may, I don't know whether that's true or not. I know that the problem of a larger immigrant community certainly exists in the city rather than the suburban communities so that I don't think that there is that much of a problem in, in the neighboring towns around us that we have here and uh, therefore I'm, I'm not sure I totally agree yeah. with, with uh, our, our mayor. Uh, Senator Moore, I mean, you know, when, when you take a look at this, you don't, you don't agree with the, uh, with the governor on this. You think secure communities as put forward by the Obama administration, 42 states, seems to be something that would make sense. I think it makes a lot of common sense. Um, again, we're only going to be using the program on individuals who are being arrested for certain types of crimes. So it's not, we're not going out there looking for new offenses or people rounding people up just based on any sort of uh, racial profiling. Um, it's people who have violated the law being arrested and the fingerprints are being run at, are being processed anyways. Um, <clears throat> again, I don't know, based on the chiefs of police, you know, what, what he's being given for information, so I, I, I can't um, contra um, contradict any of that. but. No, I could possibly see some, depending on where the immigrant came from, if there is a, if it's a more um, of a authoritative, I guess, type of regime where you possibly could be afraid of the authorities or the, or the police. Right. But again, um, I don't know if this program would make you any less uh, afraid. I guess. But uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think it's, I don't understand how it could ruin a relationship where if you're already working with the police or have a, if, right. you, if you're not doing something right. wrong. Okay, so politically, why did the governor do this then? Why does this, why does I this think make he really sense believes. for him? Right. I think he really believes that this would be very injurious to our immigrant population, that the racial profiling uh, might take over here. And I mean, I, I think that's his background. I think that's his, his point of view. We've seen it in other areas. So, How do you, uh, yeah. both of you, and, and I, it seems then that, that probably, you know, a number of other Democrats is as well, that this isn't certainly a Republican Democrat thing then, uh, that this is right. something where now maybe the legislature, the majority of them are going to be at odds with the governor on this policy. What happens in a case like that? I mean, can you put pressure on the, on the governor? Well, I believe this is an administrative decision. I don't believe this is something that right. the, the, the legislature has any say in. 
so uh, unless I, I can't see why he would change his mind. Republican state representatives have been uh, apparently circulating a letter that they are going to send the governor. I mean, does that have does that have any effect at all? I don't think so. No. Yeah, I don't. No. And again, it, it 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 all depends too on the gravity of the letter and right. um, the it justifications that's used in the letter. Uh, it could. It could harden the governor in his opinion. Could yeah. maybe it could soften. Well, so it. far I think the political rhetoric so, around it has been uh, pretty, has been pretty heated. Yeah, yeah right. harsh. Yes, yeah. as as a matter of fact. So that would probably make Governor dig in his heels more. And it would make and you know I think it draws a line where if you do have people that maybe are opposing the governor, if the rhetoric gets too far, it makes it harder for the t for both sides to come together and work together. If you, if you want both sides to work together, you've got to find a common ground, common theme, and you can't be going to the extremes on the issues. I think, I think that's the problem today. Too many, too often, you'll have a, uh, one side will get to the extreme where um, you lose the actual co you, you lose the actual emphasis of what you're trying the, the goal line that you're trying to get to. All right. Well, I want to check in with you also about the budget and where we are with the budget right now as well. We'll do that straight ahead on the Hank Stoltz Experience.